So as you are watching Fantasy Darky and I hope you all are well. We already talk about the simulation part in my previous video and in this video we will know how to do the calculation part of the thermocouple seaback effect. Thermocouple coefficient of the seaback effect, how to find the calculation and how to do the experiment. And I already talk about the simulation part in my previous video. So this is our observation table. Now here you can see the observation. So this is our observations. What we have, I have taken in my uh, readings, thermocouple type, thermocouple type, or I have used in my and the material platinum rohidium. Let me show you from where you can see the thermocouple type. Now uh, this is my uh, calculation part. I already talked about the calculation. Uh, this is my simulation part basically, and I already told how to do the simulation part in my previous video. If you want to know how to do the simulation part, so you can get that link on my description box, and from where you can know how to do the simulation part. So this is our simulation part, and uh, type R I have to uh, take from here. Like what uh, materials we have used in this experiment. So I have used uh, type R and type R what is the mint of the type R? Type R is mint platinum rohidium. From here you can see the thermocouple type is platinum rohidium. So that's why I have take here the platinum rohidium type R. And after that I have uh, take here temperature gradient. Basically from where you can get the temperature gradient. Let me show you in a simulation part. So temperature gradient, uh, gradient is our hot temperature uh, where we have stop our temperature slider, hot temperature slider, I have taken here 1768 or, or 16, 1767 so from where you can get the temperature gradient uh, your reading and after that you can uh, see that reference temperature, I have taken the reference temperature is 0 degrees celsius I have no, cha I have no change in this uh, uh, reference temperature and initial, volt initial material voltage initial material voltage is basically the, that's value where we have from where we have take the EMF like from where like now is, is this our uh, temperature observation of the temperature observation tables of the um, thermocouple type now here you can see the EMF how to uh, like how to perform how to take your reading I already talk about in your previous video and uh, simulation part uh, I have already told you how to take the reading and these reading those reading you can put in your observation table and this is the EMF part and this is the temperature so the EMF 0 degree 0 the first one part is our initial point and the last one is our where the 1753 is the temperature on what value we have get 20.915 we have got and this is the our final point so that's why I have uh, right here initial material voltage and the final material voltage this value we are using in our calculation part in, in our calculations of the C wave coefficient and and uh, the this is our observation table and how to get the reading I already told and these reading you can put in uh, your uh, uh, and in your uh, so that's reading you can put in your Microsoft of uh, world or uh, plot graph and uh, how to, uh, so let me show you so this is the graph and basically the, those reading you can put in your graph and plot a graph and how to plot if you want to know how to plot, plot a graph I'll uh, take I'll and give the link in my description box from where you can know how to pull out a graph on Microsoft Word and this is the graph basically this is graph this is the variation line between the EMF and the temperature and after that you can see the slope of the graph how to find the slope of the uh, graph of the, this line and this line how to find the slope of the graph and this graph is you can uh, so y2 and y1 is for the temperature and you know uh, the formula of the this is the formula y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and the y2 and y1 is for the temperature and x1 x2 is for the emf let me show you y1 is 572 so you can see here on uh, observation table y1 uh, i have taken the 572 and the same reading for the emf is x1 and uh, after that i have taken the 833 is for the y2 and x2 is for the 8.359 and you can find from the higher calculation part slope of the graph after the find the slope of the when you are solve this question you can find the slope of the graph and after find the slope of the graph you can find the calculating part of the seaback coefficient how to find the cal uh, calculating part of the seaback coefficient here is already given the formula change in material emf and the change in temperature so change in material basically emf is for the um, uh, final point and the initial point final point and initial point i have already told what is the initial and final so this is our initial uh, this is our initial and final reading you can take here and 
put this in this formula so final minus initial upon the change in temperature how much change 1753 kelvin when you are solve this equation you can get the um, c wave coefficient so 0.01193 volt per kelvin and this is the for uh, unit of the c wave coefficient and after that you can get the now here you can see the result i have already find the c wave coefficient a is equal to 0.01193 volt per kelvin and slope of graph is already find and the relation between the emf and the temperature gradient is already verified let me show you the temperature between the emf and the uh, temperature variations is already defined we have and this graph we uh, so this is all about the calculation of the thermocouple c back coefficient basically the thermocouple in a thermocouple we have three uh, peter effect three effect three peter effect and thomson effect and the c back effect so this is for all about for the c back effect and uh, this is the graph and if you want to know how to plot the graph i'll give the link on my description box from where you can know how to plot a graph and see the video and so to and please be subscribe my channel so thank you for watching the video